What do you think? Do you like my megaphone? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um Gunter, come here. Come here, you little fool. Oh, don't be a Tartarian for you. Now, y'all can see my little creature here. His name is Gunter, and he's such a jaspish little fellow. Okay, now, Gunter, you can go back. Oh, no, don't do it, don't do it. Okay, Gunter, you can go back to your seat for you. Oh, you're trying to hog the camera. I'm trying to tell you such a camera hog. Gunter, at least go. Gunter, don't make me spill my coffee. Do, don't do. Because then that'll be a little Tartarian for you. And speaking of Tartarian, uh, I probably just happen to have one of my cards right here. Can you see that? Can you read that? That's Tartarian. Wait, oh, hold on. <laughs> My bad. That's a uh, Anthropos modeling business card. Out. Our business is finding you. Right? Are you a beautiful and sexy motherfucker? Our business is finding you. Uh, sorry about that. Um, this is the card I meant to brandish Tartarian tile. Tartarian tile. Consummate Old World Recherche. Consummate Old World Recherche. Timeless beauty. Timeless beauty. And we've been so thrilled to be involved in the tile, the flooring industry. This is somewhat new for me. As many of you know, I made my money in the uh, security camera industry. Had limited success in that. And I am now a real estate investor. And that's just the way things go. Here in the number one city in the world, Austin, Texas. Don't fuck with that. Don't fuck with that. There are some luminaries in the truth or movement that I know personally that I would like to mention at this time. And the first one is the lovely and hyper-intelligent and very um, gracious and very smooth in her delivery and shapely and beautiful Christine Joanna Hart. Fascinating individual. And she resides in the UK, the United Kingdom. And let me think, who else? Um, one person who I've never spoken with, uh, I might have exchanged a couple of emails with, but uh, I... Wanted to be on my show, but I just must mention Maria Wheatley, who is an expert on the Stonehenge ruins and the reality of what Stonehenge is today, and the fact that the military, the despotic military of the UK, has taken over these ancient sites and, for all practical purposes, locked people out except for you know banal, um, mindless tourists, right? When, the only reason I want to mention Maria Wheatley is because uh, as you know, my investigations of the elongated skulls in Peru has led me to the discovery by way of Josh Reed Reeves that the 
Rockwall ruins in Rockwall, Texas, right outside of Dallas, one of the most exclusive communities in the state of Texas, which actually makes it one of the most exclusive and rich communities in the world. Go figure. Is the site of the Rockwall ruins, and this is. But don't worry, don't don't try to go there and check it out. Don't go ask their tourism bureau about you want to see the Rockwall or anything like this, because it's there. Yes, it's proven. Yes, all these facts. Yes, but it just so happens in most places the rock wall is easily 100 feet beneath the ground and we're talking about beneath the ground on which multi-million dollar mansions have been built and of course i'm sure that's just a coincidence right what better way to hide some ancient ruins that you don't want to discover it begs the question what better way to hide ancient ruins that you do not want discovered well i've got i've got an answer for you and I'm not talking about building multi-million dollar mansions on top of these ruins, just like they did in Rockwall, Texas, with the, the, with the help of Masonic luminaries. What if you needed to cover a much greater distance? What if you didn't, you know, couldn't sell every, you know, square foot for a million dollars? What, what if, huh? What then? How about creating an artificial lake? How about Lake Ray Hubbard? How about the fact that Lake Ray Hubbard was built for the express purpose of flooding and covering up ruins, ancient ruins, that are now being explored by U.S. Special Forces type groups in conjunction with who knows who, the military industrial complex, to confiscate and uh, discover secret technologies that the ancients had and the not so ancients harkens the memory of Standing Rock. Y'all remember Standing Rock? The uh, Indians were taking a stand, you know, the Native Americans, and a lot of people were going down there to help them um, on the fact that these sacred lands were being desecrated for big oil, big money, you know, and everything. And not that there's some little bit of truth to that. Unfortunately, the indigenous American people are once again being used by Big Brother, whatever you want to call it, the elite, you know, the Illuminati, to create a diversion. That scandal, that, you know, strike, whatever it was, the confrontation in Standing Rock, was all fabricated. All fabricated by brilliant minds such as my own. Not, not my own mind, but like-minded people who can really think of some brilliant shit to cover up what's really going on and you see at the heart of the issue is they are supposedly wanting to build a pipeline under this big lake to deliver oil somewhere who cares right with an, ama with an amazingly big pipeline oil pipeline that's big enough to draw drive an 18-wheeler through And of course, that's not a red flag. I mean, how much fucking oil does it take to run every goddamn car in America? I don't know. Don't answer that question. I don't want to know. The truth of the matter is, in regards to Standing Rock, the truth of the matter is, stand by.